So, my name is Raul Garcia, and I am in Howard University. So, a bit about my education. I was in computer science for undergrad, and that's pretty much the first key point in, in my life, in which I was, got out of high school. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life. And I could have picked computer science, or I could have picked uh, information systems, which is basically like computer science, but for businesses and whatnot. So, at that point, I, I got suggested that I go into computer science instead, because I was originally going to, to, to be an office worker, and I actually like being here, and being able to do my research, and all the work I've been able to do across the years, and my undergraduate career ha has been pretty much great. And I went to Universidad Metropolitana of Puerto Rico, in Coupe, Coupe, Puerto Rico. And I, during my time there, I graduated in four years. Uh, in, in three summers, I went to REUs, which are Research Experience for Undergraduates, which is an NSF program that takes undergrad students to do research at, at, the, at a variety of institutions. And I, I, yeah, I talk about that more ahead. I, I graduated there in 2008. And right away, I came over to Howard University in Washington, D.C., where I'm studying physics and astronomy. I don't regret being in computer science, but that is definitely not what I want to do my research on. So I, I switch, ended up switching to, to physics and astronomy. So my undergraduate research, what did I do in those IUs during the summer? Uh, I worked on ad hoc networking, which is basically, basically Wireless networking. Uh, it's, a, it's a wireless connection between computers without an actual hub connected to the internet. And then I did motion detect detection algorithms and, and found out how, how they react on, under ad hoc conditions. I also worked on, that was in NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology at Newark. I also worked on optical networking. Uh, it's something like multiplexing in, in networking. And that was in Tennessee Tech University. Outside the, those summers, I also worked on molecular simulations uh, in chemistry. I, I worked on binary star system simulations and rocket simulations in physics. And, I, and my, my biggest time spent there was in environmental sciences, where I, I, I was in the, in the environmental sciences group in the UMET, which studied light pollution and how, how light pollution affected different turtles, turtle species. In graduate, after I came here to Howard University, my advisor basically snapped me over before any other <coughs> faculty could, could get to me, because he wanted me to work on a project he had recently acquired, which was for the Mars Science Laboratory mission. And that was on astrobiology. And what I did was I developed a library of spectroscopic data, which I don't actually have an example here. But it's basically, you have the material, and it gives an organic signal. And that tells you what it's composed of, like made of carbons and, and different allotropes. And my thesis right now, I'm working on materials research, and my job is to find a model that, that calculates, that finds out the metal oxide gas relationships. Yeah. And to, basically, a metal oxide is an, a, a metal that, that has oxygen attached to it, and the arm is really interested in, in that kind of work for, for toxic gas. So, uh, sensing and my model, what I'm hoping it will do is given a metal oxide, what gas does it sense by, by without having to do trial and error. And basically, this is the, my proposed research work, which is a, a more broad, no, a less broad explanation of what I just told you. And my short term goals are to get my PhD, but I'm, which I'm hoping to get in. May 2014, I'm doing my defense in my proposal defense next next semester, and um, I've done 
like I did for the RU, I did NASA internships in, uh, as a Howard University student. And that's what I want to do in the long term. I want to work for NASA uh, and maybe even teach. But that's not exactly my goal. But I would love to do it as an adjunct faculty. Thank you.